So today's video was kindly sponsored by eLoot.gg. So eLoot.gg is a free to use service that allows you to watch ads or take surveys that award you with credits you can use to cash out to some of your favorite sites. Anyways, to get started, all you have to do is sign in with your Google account, click on one of the ads that you wanna watch. And the best part is, since no one's holding you at gunpoint, you don't actually have to watch the ad. What I usually do is open the site while I'm editing. I take the tab and I just throw it somewhere else and I don't worry about it until I'm done editing. And every three ads that you watch awards you with some credits. As you can see, I have a metric shitload of them here. Now, this is actually a site I've used myself, and when I cash out, I usually send it to the various cryptocurrencies that are available. However, if you guys aren't into the crypto game, you can actually cash out to like OP skins, BitSkins, Amazon, PayPal, even Steam. Now, the site did just rebrand, and as I said, they literally give you free money, so you're dumb if you don't try it out. So make sure to click the first link in the description below, and it'll bring you right here, and you can get started. Anyways, guys, that's enough selling out. The only reason I agreed to do this is because they told me they buy me a Lamborghini Huracan, and I've really wanted one since I was 12, and I'll have a video on that soon. Anyways, guys that's enough selling out today stay in school don't do drugs and enjoy the video when you think about mediocre content on youtube generally what comes to your mind is rehashed unoriginal just really goofy content hi guys i'm diddle and today i'm going to be rehashing the random games on steam series and instead of taking a look at the cheap peasant steam keys that are two dollars and eighty cents we're going to be breaking the bank today we're going to be spending a whopping eight dollars and twenty three cents for five random steam keys but not just any random steam keys these are premium random steam keys. So while I'm purchasing these steam keys with a subway gift card, I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to leave a like on the video before you've even watched it. Uh, I'm going to have a nice picture of a puppy on screen now, and uh, that puppy is going to look really sad. And if you guys don't like the video, that puppy will actually get clubbed in the head. That puppy will cry. In the arms of the angel, fly away from here. <laughs> this video is going to be demonetized as fuck. So the main differentiating factor between the regular Steam keys and the premium Steam keys is the quality of game that you're going to be getting. A lot of these games were developed by much bigger companies or bigger teams of people, and some of them have actually won awards. And I do hold them at a higher standard because the budget for these games should have been a lot higher. Let's see what we got. So the first game up is called Baseball Mogul, and as everybody who plays video games in their basement for a living knows, you don't play sports. So this is going to be interesting. This literally looks like a game that would have been produced for Windows XP dude what the hell is this so it looks like we have all these football teams to choose from i'm gonna be everyone's favorite soccer team the arizona diamond packs first name can be peter and my second name can be schmeckelsberg i'm a successful jewish sports manager with a very penisy name all right so where is the gameplay I feel like I'm learning. So Baseball Mogul Diamond is like a simulation game for baseball nerds, and personally, I'm really not into sports, so I couldn't play this game for more than two minutes before I had no idea what was going on. The game comes in at $11.99, which may or may not be a good price, I honestly couldn't tell ya. If your idea of a good game is learning, then uh, you, this is just right up your league, bro. You see what I did, league? Amer American League? Football? Amer- Oh, were you expecting a game to pop up here? Like a title screen or something? Yeah, me too. Haha, <laughs> we got fucked! So Alien Shooter 2 Conscription is a really nice open world alien shooter survival game that I didn't even play because I couldn't get it to launch on my computer. Literally every single time I'd go to launch the game, it would launch in a really weird aspect ratio and destroy OBS. Watch, I'll show you. So this is what we get when I open the game up, right? But if I go off screen to try and click on OBS to fix the window, it just closes the game and deletes the window completely from my OBS. This this is just great. This is just, I, I just, I love it. I love it when I spend $8 to get five Steam games. That's eight whole dollars. Do you know I could have bought an entire meal at Burger King with that? But no, bro, I spent it on eight wonderfully old Steam games and none of them even launch on my computer. Thank you, Lord Gaben, bro. Thank you so much. You fat piece of shit. 10 out of 10. I swear to God, bro, I am just striking out today. You get it? You get what I did? You get what I did? The baseball, baseball simulator game, baseball, you get it? Quality joke. That's why you're subscribed to me. That's why I do this every single day so I can make puns like that, bro. So this is Lakeview Cabin. Hopefully this will be a better experience than the other two games. Hopefully this will be any experience at all, unlike the other two games. And I'm actually kind of excited for this one. Right off the cut, we're met with a Russian man with a shotgun. Let's give him this box full of old CDs and stolen Rolexes. There you go, buddy. I'm thinking that this is like a puzzle game or something, and I gotta actually figure out what's going on. What? What? I'm honestly not sure what's supposed to happen here. 
I'm at the movies right now. I'm supposed to see Lakeview Cabin 3, I guess. This is this is the name of the game, though. So is this going to put me into, like, a campaign? Is that PewDiePie's dog? Is that Edgar? Yeet. By the looks of the character models, they seem to be back in the 70s, which is pretty dope. That was the decade of Big Bush and LSD, so that's pretty neat. Uh, it appears that I can remove all of my clothes, and uh, sure enough, I was right, bro. 70s were all about Big Bush. This is like a pixel wiener. Can I show this? Am I allowed to show this on YouTube? I'm totally gonna do it anyways, but geez. So I figured out you could switch characters, and as a result of that, I was able to remove everybody's clothes. Uh, but this woman seems to have a, uh, a bigger issue than, than just, just the clothes. That's, that's a schmeckle. She's got a schmeckle. I'm really not sure what goes on in this game. Oh, this is gonna be so fucking rad. <laughs> what the fuck? I just killed everybody, dude, what? I'm gonna get rid of those. Well, now it's nighttime and everybody's dead. I'm bleeding out. What else could go wrong here, man? Oh, um, axe murderer. That's, uh, you, your dogs, and your friends are dead. Push me to the edge. I'm gonna take PewDiePie's dog with me and I'm gonna go to the woods. Never mind. Killed the dog. So Lakeview Cabin Collection comes in at $10, and I honestly think it is absolutely worth more than that. I only ended up playing through two of the levels, but it was an insane amount of fun. The game is like a semi-open world puzzle game with a really unique art style, which pits you in like 70s slasher films where everybody dies, and you have to pretty much figure out a way to not have everyone die. Super, super cool game. Super quality. I played it for about a half hour, but I didn't want to show too much of it because it is a puzzle game and I didn't want to ruin anything. So I just kind of showed you guys the most interesting parts that happened to me. There are a ton of different ways to die in this game, and I haven't actually found a solution to anything yet, but this is definitely a game I'm actually going to go back to, and I can confidently say this is probably my favorite game I've played so far in any of these kind of videos. No! Oh my god, no! It's by the same people that made the Alien game! Oh my god, I cannot play this! <laughs> so this Zombie Shooter 2 game literally is by the same developers who made the Alien game that I couldn't get to launch, bro. These games will launch and play just fine if you're trying to do it on your own, but how am I supposed to record my mediocre internet content if I can't get a game to launch, bro? You know what, bro? Zombie Shooter 2 from Sigma Team Inc. It came out in 2009. What can you expect? It's got very positive reviews. It looks like an open arena zombie shooting game. You know, you just go play Moon on Black Ops 1. There you go. Problem solved. So I had a taco from Taco Bell earlier, and I just looked down at my shirt and realized that I got meat smears all over it. God damn. Don't say a word. Just keep walking real casual, okay? I'm hoping that this will be the saving grace for this video because I am starving for content here. Damn people want to hear some heavy metal! What the fuck? I told you not to climb on that, you stupid mother! <laughs> This game is like giving me the option to or not to demonetize my video right now. Um, fuck it, bro. Mask off. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> you can't it. Please let him fall. Here we go, boys. Let's take this big ol take this big old axe right out the ground here. The separator. Let's kill some homeboys. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Honestly, any game with Jack Black in it is just immediately a banger, bro. Let's get it, boy! <laughs> oh my god. This game is wild, bro. We got a lit soundtrack, we got some hot chicks in the car, bro. We got Jack Black. This is a this is 10 out of 10, bro. This is the best game ever made, hands down. I am in love. Oh yeah, let's hit the sticky dude's tongue penises. Tongue real sticky, uh. Hit you quickie, uh. Look at me going, uh. His tongue is literally just floating out, boy. Ah, 
Well, I'm dead. Brutal Legend is an absolutely hilarious game. It stars Jack Black as the main voice and character. For a game that came out in 2009, the mechanics hold up pretty well, but you can definitely tell that the game is old, which is pretty disappointing because I played this as a kid on Xbox 360 and it was one of the more fun games that I'd ever played. But honestly, the game has a lot of unique mechanics and the dialogue is pretty hilarious. So I feel like it kind of makes up for some of the sloppy game mechanics. Uh, this game also has one of the best soundtracks out of any game I've ever played. So if you're into like hard rock music, this is definitely right up your alley. So before I go, I wanted to just say really quickly that in the last Steam video that I uploaded like this, I noticed that in the comments section, there were quite a few people who were actually game developers themselves, uh, and they were talking about the games that they had made. Some of them saw their games on the Steam market as I was recording, and some of them just wanted me to know that they made games. But if you guys actually are developers and you want me to check out your games, send me a DM on Twitter. I will happily take a look at them. It'd be a pleasure to play them. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Thanks for watching this video to the end. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, and uh, we are so close to 100k, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and peace out.